expert on the tarot by any <laughs> long shot, but I do love tarot cards. I feel like they're a great way to like delve into all these different aspects of, of what's going on with us. And um, so I thought it'd be fun to do fun <laughs> to do a tarot reading about CD19 and see what it has in store for us. So uh, first of all, I have lots of different decks, and I'm not. I I think I'm gonna go with the Hanson Roberts. That's what I usually um, do because I can shuffle it. But I, I like to keep the Enchanted Tarot around because uh, she always has such positive interpretations for uh, the tarot cards. Um, and then I have this deck that I got at the, the Fry Museum because they were beautiful cards. But I looked at what they said and my uh, David, he thinks they're full of BS. And then there's this lovely deck. This is a coolest visual deck, even cooler maybe than the Fry one, but it's in French and I don't speak French. But I could, uh, I could do this deck and then look up. <laughs> In my other books what it does. I think we're just going to keep things simple and go with Hanson Roberts here. So the question that I'm asking the cards today, and really I'm doing this not for my read, but because I know there are a lot of people that read tarot cards and I'd be interested to hear your interpretation of what I find out today. And I'm just going to do a little three card spread, past, present, future kind of thing. Um, oh, already feeling like, yeah, already feeling like, like we're there. And this is the question um, that I've had in my head and my heart is what does CV19 have in store for us, okay? So we've got past, present, and future. And uh, drum roll please, the past is Four of Cups. Okay, so the four cups, so the first way I like to interpret tarot cards is the way David taught me, which is you look at the picture and the picture is, you know, sad person with three cups and uh, they're not seeing that somebody's handing them a whole other cup. So that's sort of the past. We had this disease that was coming at us and this great opportunity to reconnect with people, spend more time with our families, and we all like were so worried about what we're losing that we didn't necessarily embrace that right away. So that's kind of what I get from the past. And then let's look at what Hanson Roberts has to say. And in fact, you know what, uh, as well as giving you this one, I'm gonna give you a little enchanted tarot read. Again, I'm putting it up as a graphic. However, you should not re-enter the world of social activities until you are satisfied that you have resumed contact with a personal value system. Oh my gosh, how appropriate is that? And just for grins, I'm gonna give you what uh, the, the Hermetic Tarot, the one that David doesn't like, says, and um, no, I'm not gonna bother with what the French, the French uh, deck says, but I will uh, show you these cards in all these different decks. So I'm gonna pull them out and we'll have a look at what all the cards look like. So that's the past. Um, in the present, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So Pentacles are north and practical values and money and gold, and they're our value system, basically. So my interpretation of the uh, Knight of Pentacles is that it's the kind of energy that we're seeing in leaders like Jay Inslee, who took the state of Washington from one of the crisis states to one where their curve is flat now. It's a shoulder the burden kind of energy and do the work that needs to be done, but it's with a good attitude, like a work party attitude, even if the work is staying home and not working. That is what's going on right now is that everybody's figuring that out, okay? And the future, ooh, this is what we've all, this is the scary one. We're all wondering what's in here. Oh my gosh, well, this is not bad. We got the King of Rods. 
Rods are the wands, they're the fire energy, you know, they're the south. He's the king, so he's like the mastery of power at the peak of his experience. With the King of Rods, with the future here, my interpretation of this guy is that we're going to gain some mastery of the situation, but it's gonna take a lot of creativity. It's gonna take a maturity. It's gonna be a little while until we get there. I see this card and I feel like, well, it takes a long time to get the king phase of your life going on. That's like, that's a long time. So, so this, I, I think it could be 50 years before we really have a handle on the diseases and how to handle them and you know the planets getting overcrowded and stuff and but it, I feel like it's a hopeful card and I like where we're at right now and I like the hope for the future and I certainly understand the shock of the past you know um, and I don't see any of the major tarot cards in here so I feel like well this is life now and we're, we're gonna get through this what do you think